Hi, I'm Alex Gums, the fund manager of the Heptagon Future Trends Equity Fund, and I'm here today to talk to you about the case for offshore wind. We've just published our latest theme piece on the topic, and I thought I'd share with you my thoughts in summary. Open any newspaper, and it's almost impossible not to read about the environmental challenges facing the world, and hence the growing case for renewable energy. What's really exciting is just how significantly renewable energy is actually growing. One statistic that really amazed me when I was researching this piece is that last year there was actually more investment globally in solar and in wind than there was in oil and in gas combined. And then when you add into this the fact that energy independence is becoming an increasingly significant topic for every government around the world, and the case for renewable investment in general is really set to grow going forward. Now we're particularly excited about offshore wind and we think offshore wind is super interesting for really three reasons. Number one is that it can be scaled more quickly than other conventional energy sources. Number two is that it's more environmentally friendly and number three is basically that you're getting more bang for your buck. In other words, you need fewer turbines to produce the same amount of energy relative to an onshore equivalent. So when you look at the forecasts, uh, the outlook seems incredibly positive in our view. Consider the fact that going forward, we should see growth in the offshore industry of about 20% a year through to 2030. On some assumptions, that means that the offshore industry will be growing at about four times the rate of the onshore industry in terms of wind. And then if you assume that these forecasts are correct and we roll the clock forward to 2050, about a third of all renewable installations globally could actually comprise offshore wind. Now there's quite a lot of evidence even today about how offshore wind is already established and having a big impact. The UK, given its proximity to the North Sea, the shallow seabed there, the very high winds, is arguably the world leader in this respect. But with the Inflation Reduction Act in the US, with European governments really pushing in respect of policy, and we're seeing really good evidence of deployments all over the world, not just in those developed nations I already mentioned, but also in countries as diverse as China and Brazil as well. Now all of this obviously sounds super exciting, and for very good reason, but I think it's also important to caution listeners that it's not going to be plain sailing. Uh, there is clearly a huge challenge and a big difference between saying we want to build an offshore wind farm and actually getting it built. The permitting process in particular is a very big bottleneck and really from conception through to operation, this is a process that can take anywhere between five and seven years. I think it's also important to put offshore wind in context. It's only a necessary, but certainly not a sufficient part of the whole alternative energy ecosystem. You basically need robust infrastructure to support offshore wind turbines. So when we then turn to think about how to invest in the area, we think there are a number of different ways investors could consider playing and getting access to this theme. Clearly from our point of view, the most compelling approach is through listed wind turbine manufacturers. The market itself is actually very attractive in the sense that it's oligopolistic in structure. Three main players outside of China really dominate the market for offshore wind in the Western world. Above and beyond that, investors may want to think about project developers or also those vital businesses that play a really crucial role in the energy infrastructure value chain. So really, in, in conclusion, we think the outlook for offshore wind is looking incredibly bright. Watch this space, do read our piece for more information, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out either to me or to your representative at Heptagon Capital. Thanks very much. Thank you.